Hey guys, today I'm just going to show you how to bring a Revit model into SketchUp. So basically what you need to do is open up your sketch or your Revit model into the 3D mode. This might look like a 3D mode, but it's actually not a 3D mode. This is the perspective mode. What you'd actually need to do is go click on this 3D button over here or over here on the top. Well, as you can see, this 3D, you can just flip around and check it out first. This is the Revit sample that you've all seen, I'm sure. So now just go to your Revit icon on the top over here, export, go to CAD, DWG, and say OK. You see now it's in 3D mode, so cool. The next, make it 2007 so that SketchUp will actu actually recognize it, and say OK. And OK, that's on my desktop, so it's easy to figure out where it is. Basically what you want to do now is just go to SketchUp, and I'll show you over here. Uh, let's go into imports. Go to DWG. I'm going to go and show you where to look now. So I'm going to pull up that sample from Revit and say open. And it should be really quick in comparison to what I had. And do get a couple of things and just say close. And here you've got the SketchUp model great to, to have a look at quickly. Um, something that's interesting to note is that you've got all these layers, which is a great thing considering the fact that you basically would have just come in here with a model and you wouldn't have had anything to work with. Okay, so basically you've got a bunch of nested components here. So what that means is you've got a couple of components within each other. So now I've opened up one component, now I can click on another another component. So here's a million components and a window components and a door components uh, and that's got more nested components within that. But let's see if I can turn a couple of things off here. Let's see if I can put some glazing off. There we go, some glazing disappeared. I'm sure if I turn more stuff off, more things will disappear. So as you sort of see there, the glazing disappeared and the roof disappeared. As you can see over here, you've got a beam. The beam comes as one whole component instead of a bunch of faces. So it's quite nice. You can just go and edit the component. So edit. And now you can select the whole thing. And let's just, just apply a color to this so you can see that it changes. Um, let me just take red and I'll just drop that in. And then you see everything change in one go. And drop that. And y there you go. I mean, let's just show you the ease, the ease of changing things on, from Revit to SketchUp.